Hey guys, I'm back with another pacing video and today I'm going to be showing you how to add features to Osiris. And so first what you're going to, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Osiris like I have uh, other videos showing you how to do that if you don't know. So watch those if you're new to this. Anyways, so once you have Osiris and you open the SLN file, first what you want to do is go to release mode and, and build it first just to make sure you have no errors from the start. Because if you have errors from the start and then you add a feature, you're not going to know what the problem is. So it's better that you build successfully and make sure that it all works before you get started changing things or else you're going to be confused as to what the problem is if you mess up. So this takes a second because we're building for the first time because I just downloaded this so yeah give it one second. I might uh, fast forward this part. Okay, now you can see we've built successfully, so we know that it, it it's working correctly. So anyway, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to the GitHub from Osiris. This is where you would download it. And you're going to want to go to a place called pull requests, okay? Now, you, I'm only going to show you how to add features from pull requests. So features that other people have made and have requested to add to Osiris. I'm going to show you how to add them yourself. I can't show you how to just add any random feature because there's different things you'll have to do for every different feature. You'll see that here when I show, I'm going to show you how to add, um, let me see, I think it's Blockbot, it's, wait, I know it's Blockbot here but there's a different one. Yeah this one, Blockbot Logs and Removals, I'm going to do this one, so it's going to add Blockbot and then it's going to add this thing called logs, which basically shows like when you die or get killed, stuff like that. It's probably more than just that, but yeah. And I'm also going to show you how to add um, view model XYZ changer. And you can add pretty much anything from this list here besides things that are pretty old and things that have this X like failure, because that means like someone tried it and it doesn't work properly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to add blockbot and then logs and then we're going to remove a couple of features that this guy basically uh, yeah anyway so what you're going to want to do you open this and then you're going to want to go to files changed and you see this here this is where you need to be so you see how it says osiris event listers cpp you want to go back to your uh, sln or your visual studio and you're gonna want to go. You're gonna want to find where Event Listers is. I already know it's in Source Files, so go to Source Files and click Event Listers. Okay. And how you do this basically is you see these numbers here, 34, 35. These are lines. These are the same here. Okay. So we have to add this line here. So we copy it because it has a green and then a plus. Okay. Copy this. Just this one line. Then we're going to go to line 33. And what you're going to want to do just to double check is check what's above so you know what to put it under. Just in case your lines get messed up, you don't just want to focus on the line. You want to focus on what's above it and what's below it. So misc kill sound is right um, above it. So we go to misc kill sound and we paste, we press enter and then we paste this here. Okay, you're going to have errors at first because you have to add stuff. That's just, so don't worry about the errors yet. So then all these are pluses. So we're going to copy from, whoops, we're going to copy from here to here. And we're going to go to line 40. Okay, we're going to check what's, what's uh, above it. Hit marker event, visuals hit marker event, visuals hit marker event. Then we're going to paste it here. Okay. Just making sure that it works correctly. Okay. Now you see here. I was just confirming. You, you see here how this isn't a plus. This is a minus here. So that means we're going to remove something. Okay. So we're still an event lister. But we're going to go to line 67, which it'll probably be different because we've just added things. It'll probably be on a different line. And we're going to look for, um, what's it called? 
Game event manager player hurt. So it's on a different line because we added stuff. So you see player hurt here. We're going to remove it. And now we're going to add, we're basically adding it back in a different place. And we're also adding some other ones like uh, diffuse and whatever. So we're going to copy these because we have to add them. And we're going to put it under player death. Okay. So we look, here's player death. Press enter to create a space. And then we press control V to copy paste. Okay. Now we go back. Now we're in a different part. Okay. So now you see it says hacks of um, Osiris hacks misc.cpp. We're going to go to hacks and we're going to go to misc.cpp and open that. Okay. We're going to go to line 94 and we're going to add bull blockbot blockbot dot or uh, false whatever fuck. Sorry. So we're going to look for line 93. We're going to check what's above it. Slow walk. Okay. 93 slow walk press enter then we're gonna copy paste it okay now we're at uh, line 113 which is gonna be different but this is a removal you see there's a, a minus instead of a plus so we don't need to copy anything we just need to go to line 113 and we need to look for um, I think it was quick reload so wait let me just confirm full quick reload and sometimes these might be in different places because you're adding things. So bull quick reload false. I'm gonna remove it. Now I'm just gonna confirm. Okay, yeah. Then we're gonna go to this is a plus. We gotta add something. We're going to line 120. Above it is the walk key. Right here. Just making sure. Yeah, okay. Now, we go to line 144 and we're going to remove something. Int quick health shot key. Let me just confirm. Sorry, this is taking a long time. I'm just trying to be thorough because if you mess one thing up, you will not be able to figure out what you did wrong if you don't really know what you're doing. Okay. Sorry, I lost where I was, okay. Just removing that. Now, we're going to line 160, and see we had to add this, this one, even though it's blank, it's basically just gonna add a space for you so you don't have to do it yourself. But this is a plus, we gotta add it. So we go to line 164, to make sure, right above it is off-screen enemies. Okay, make sure it doesn't include, okay, so we gotta go in between these, in between misconfig and off-screen enemies. And let me make sure, okay, there's no space in between. Then we go to way down further, and we gotta remove a lot of stuff here. We gotta line uh, 588. Okay. We're looking for void misc quick reload, which is right here. And we're removing all the way down to these five brackets, whatever. Okay, so copy this down to the five brackets and we remove it. Okay. Now we go down to line 1258 or around there because we're changing things so it's going to be a little different okay we're looking for or we're going to add sorry we're not looking for anything because we're not removing anything we're going to add all of this which is a lot of code kind of okay and if you can't see what's above here, you click this up arrow, and it's going to show you. 
what is above. Sometimes it's hidden because there's so much on this uh, one pay or one CPP file. It doesn't want to show you the whole thing. It's going to remove things that we are not editing just to save space. Okay, so Mr. Registered, Remove Lister, Game Event Manager. Let me just clarify. I believe it is right here. Okay, and we're going to put it after this. So we paste it there. Now we go to, oh wait, I gotta add, I don't know if I did that right, I just had to add a space, okay, now we're going down to line 1400, we're adding these right here, 1400, we've, ad we've added a lot so we have to look to make sure we're in the right place again, it's gonna go under slow walk key under the pop ID thing. So, slow walk key. I believe it goes there. Yeah, okay. Now we are going to remove something from line 1415. And it's going to be the quick reload. Where is it? I'd probably be better, be better off searching for the thing. Sorry, give me a second. Another thing you can do is just do a quick reload. There you go. See how much easier it was to find it. It's right here. So control F is how you can search for things. Okay, and we remove that. Now we need to remove from line, well, we'll just search for quick, quick, this right here. We're removing this. Okay. Now we're at line 1,500, it doesn't really matter. We'll just search for what's above and below it. Copy this. So we, look, let's go up so we can see a little bit more. It's right under um, this report bot thing, okay. 500, it's right under here I believe. I'm just double checking, so sorry. Okay, now going to line 1000, almost 1700, or around there. And we're putting it under slow walk key. Okay. Now you're gonna have to remove two things here. Quick reload. Look for that. And then quick health shot key. Now we're adding a line for the event log thing. Which we, I think we've been doing, I don't know. And it's under preserved kill feed. So it'd be right here. Now we're adding more. Sorry this is taking a while, this is kind of like 
a bigger thing to add. A lot of other things on here which you can add. Uh, you don't have to change nearly as much. So, so this is under other hacking. Now, which one though? Is it read or write? Read. Okay. I'm just confirming. Seems to be right to me. Yeah, okay. Now we're adding two more things right here. Under slow lock key again. I believe it's right here. And now we're removing. It's pretty much the same thing, it's just it's in a lot of places, you know? So, sorry this is gonna take me a little bit of time. This might be a longer video, but it's kind of complex. I mean, it's easy, but you just have to make sure you do everything right. Okay. Now, we gotta add the event log under preserve kill feed, under right. Okay. Now, now we're in a different place, okay? We gotta go to hacks uh, misc.h instead of misc.cpp. So we go to misc.h, open that. And now we're gonna add to line 23, void block bot, uh, yeah. Line 23, check what's above it, slow walks above it, okay? Sorry, I lost my place again. Okay, right, yeah, right here. Okay, now we go to, we're going to remove quick reload, it's right here. And we're going to add void run log to the log feature, line 64 around there. That, yeah, it's under auto accept, okay. Now we're going to another um, different CPP file. We're going to osirishelpers.cpp. And helpers.cpp is also in source files like uh, event lister. So we go to open this. And we are adding these files here. Okay, sorry, I don't know what that means. And we go down to line 218. Okay, so literally at the bottom here. Okay, let me just add that. Now we add these two files here and helpers.h. So I don't know exactly where that is, so I'm just going to search for that. And now we find it's in the header files. Okay. So open helpers.h and we're going down to line 82. Let me make sure where it's at. Okay, so it's in between these two things right here. I think it wants, I don't know if this matters, spacing, but yeah. I just like to like, do exactly as it says. Now we're going to hooks.cpp, which is in the same place as, um, it's in source files. Okay. We're removing quick reload from line 208 and we're adding block bot. Okay. 
you can easily find it here because it's an error because we've been removing it so it doesn't make sense for it to be there so we remove this and then we're adding block bot under slow walk okay enter and then yeah so that should be it now let's go and check over and make sure that we didn't mess anything up okay you notice that all those errors that were here before are now just gone yeah there's lots of warnings but there's normally lots of warnings anyway so now that we've kind of confirmed that there's no errors I'm gonna build it under build solution and let's make sure we don't have any problems I might fast forward this part depending on how long it takes okay so the build succeeded so now let's test this out in game and I think I'll show um, what the menu looks like unedited so you can see that I actually added these features if you think that I'm like I don't know why I would go through the time of doing all this to not be doing it but yeah I'm gonna go to my injector which is guided hacking injector might do a video on how to download this at some point but yeah I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna remove this because that's a different one and I'm gonna go to add files and then YouTube and this is where yours will be under release okay we click open there you don't have to, you may not have to do that if you have a different injector but that's how the guided hacking injector works so I'm gonna open the game And we're gonna test it out. Okay, so now we're in the game. Well, actually, I'm gonna go into a map so you can see what we've added. Okay, now I'm gonna inject. Okay, now that we've injected, we can press insert and we'll go to MISC where we added this stuff. And you'll notice, um, first of all, you have something called event log here. And what we can either do chat or console. And then we can do like local only. We can just enable all this stuff for now. And you can see that when you kill someone, now it says in chat here that I did 104 damage, whatever. That's what the the log feature does and the other feature we added was um, block bot now I just have to find it sorry give me a second I cannot see block bot right here sorry okay so I bind it to a key and now I'm gonna no clip out there to go test it out gotta make them move so I can block them Okay, now let's go over to this guy and let's hold the key. So I'm just holding a key, I'm not moving right now. And you can see that it's blocking him. And that's all this feature really does, okay? So I'm gonna make this video even longer by showing you another feature that I'm gonna add. So bear with me a second. I'm gonna probably pause the recording and then do the other feature real quick. So yeah, if you don't wanna watch that and you got the idea by now, then you can stop watching but if you want to see me do another example I'll do one real quick alright guys I'm back for the second feature to showcase or showcase adding and so what you're gonna do is we already have this open you know like we did before and I'm gonna go back to pull requests from just the regular Osiris thing and I'll leave a link to this in the description and I'm gonna look for another feature that I want to add which I've already decided the one and you can add any of these okay as long as they have the check mark you can even add the, the ones without checkmark, they're just not approved, they could uh, be broken. So we're going to add view model XYZ changer. Alright, so what we do, we open it, we go to files change, and this one will be a lot easier to add, I'm pretty sure, because we're one, we're not removing anything, and yeah, we're only adding one feature. Okay, so now that we have this open, we're going to go to Osiris Hacks Visuals.cpp. So we go to Hacks, and we go to Visuals.cpp. 
Okay, we go down to line 60 and we're looking for under int view model FOV. Okay, it's right there. So now we copy this. Sorry, I'm, I'm blind. Okay. Now we go down to line 133, which is going to be a little different because we just added things. And we're looking for view model FOV again. View model FOV in between view model FOV and FOV. Okay, paste that there. And now we're going to line 197 and we're looking for view model FOV again under right. View model FOV and in between right FOV, okay. And now we are going to line 720 and we're gonna add all the all this. So we're going to line 720, okay. Okay, so we're gonna be under basically all this stuff. It's just I was looking for something that's a little bit easier to recognize there. Add convex. Right here. Okay. Do I need to add a Okay. And now we go to line or near eight, whatever. Sometimes this is weird to copy things from. Maybe there's an easier way to do this. This is just how I figured out how to do this. Like I'm, I don't know. I'm not someone who really knows what I'm doing. So we're looking for slider in to view model FOV. Slider int view model FOV right here. And we're going, okay. Like that, I believe. Now we're going to visuals.h. And we're going to add one line on line 45. Okay, and it's under the last thing here. So press enter like that. Now we go to hooks.cpp. And we're going to line 193 under so walk. Might be yeah it's okay. We'll just add it under blockbot. Should work just fine. And apparently that's all you need to do. So let's go back and we'll check through visuals.cpp to make sure that, that we have no errors and we don't have any errors. So we're gonna build and we'll see if it works. Okay, so the build succeeded and now I'm gonna go back to my injector. And I'm going to update this just in case it doesn't auto update. Okay, going to open the game and we'll see if we have a uh, XYZ for view model changer. I probably should have did this one first because it's a lot easier to add than those other things. It's a lot less stuff. But I mean, you know, it's whatever. Okay, we're going to inject. Okay, and we're gonna go into a map. Should have done that first. Okay, now we're in a map. We go to visuals. 
and we go you see you may not be like you may have trouble finding this but you basically click these three dots and then you'll have access to the feature you added so what this does is it just allows you to change the XYZ of your view model so you can have like really weird view models okay that aren't really possible so yeah like that's pretty much it this tutorial should show you how to add anything from that list so, like anything is the same process you just add and remove what it tells you from where it tells you and you focus on what's above and what's below so yeah thank you for watching and uh yeah you should subscribe i'm nearly at 600 and uh yeah i'll make more videos soon i'll probably release a video on how to get the guided hacker inject guided hacking injector for free but that's pretty much it thanks for watching hope it helped you